Where do you even begin with this year's Diamond Dogs? The team head coach Lane Burroughs compared to waves crashing along the shore. And even when they were down by two runs in the seventh, they came crashing again to tie the game. But in the end, it's Air Force who gets the win 9-7, to seven, ending Louisiana Tech's run here in the Austin Regional, as well as the Bulldog careers of Taylor Young and Steele Netterville. And they're champions. And they left their mark here. They left their legacy and some big holes to fill, not just as baseball players, as human beings. And, and uh, they mean the world to me. They know all these seniors, these two are special, uh, their families, what they've meant to my family. I can't put into words what it means to me to put on this jersey. Um, just the last five years, I told the guys out there, uh, I've been the best five years of my life. Hands down. Yeah, that's because the people that, that, that have surrounded this program and, and, and this. And this team and the guys that have been on it, and obviously this man right here, uh, what he's meant to me uh, outside of baseball, not even baseball, just what he's meant to me as just a person in general. Coach Burroughs gave me an opportunity, and for that, uh, I'm forever grateful, but I never expected to. Uh, to grow so close to a, a coach or my teammates throughout the years. Not only is he creating good ball clubs, and he's creating good future husbands and fathers and current sons, and he creates good men. And uh... we went two years without a home. We didn't have a field. We didn't have a locker room. We didn't have um, a clubhouse. Anything to call our own, and nobody left. I think that says what these young men have done and created a culture that people like it. And uh, it's, uh, it, it, that's a testament to these guys and all our seniors. They didn't leave, man. And they, they stayed and they practiced and they played on a high school field and, and uh, carried stuff, luggage and equipment and trudged through mud. I mean, you start thinking about that stuff, you start getting emotional on what they've done being champions. And we've got hardware in our building now and we've been to two straight regionals and we're not stopping. So. Uh, we're going to keep going and, and keep building this thing, and, and we'll be back, I can assure you. And after back-to-back -back regional appearances, the challenge now is replacing the seven graduates who will leave as the most decorated senior class in program history. Reporting here in Austin, I'm Sam Rothman.